What do you picture when you think of Canada? Ice hockey? Moose? Maple syrup? Well, there's so much more to this giant country than meets the eye. In fact, sometimes things can get downright weird up in the frozen north. We're talking about the bizarre sights that will have you questioning everything you knew, from unmistakable proof of Bigfoot to mysterious whirlpools to hell. These are the 20 most terrifying things recently discovered in Canada. Number 20. Sleeping Giant the Sleeping Giant is a geological formation located in Sibley Peninsula near Thunder Bay, Ontario. But hold up, cause it's got a fascinating secret. Yep, when viewed from the west to the northwest, it resembles a giant lying on its back. Now this giant is not a mythical creature, but rather a series of mesas formed by the erosion of thick basaltic sills. These sills create the distinct shape of a reclining figure. Pretty cool, right? Most notably, when you stand on the cliffs at Sawyer's Bay, the giant even appears to have an Adam's apple. The dramatic steep cliffs of the sleeping giant are among the highest in Ontario, reaching up to 250 meters. That's one big giant. Legend has it that the sleeping giant was once Nana Biju, an Oji Baiwei figure who was turned to stone after revealing the secret location of a rich silver mine, now known as Silver Islet, to white men. The promise to never wake the giant was broken, and thus Nana Biju remains eternally slumbering. Interestingly, the sleeping giant was voted number one on the list of seven wonders of Canada, surpassing iconic landmarks like the Bay of Fundy and Niagara Falls by almost 90,000 votes. Wow. Although it wasn't ultimately selected by the panel of judges, this geographic significance captured the hearts of many. So, the next time you're in Ontario, take a moment to appreciate this colossal natural sculpture. A giant peacefully dozing amidst the rugged beauty of Thunder Bay. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's Sweet Topic. And now it's time for our Sweet Topic. What just emerged in Canada terrifies the whole world. We've never seen a bird like this before. In fact, we've got a sneaking suspicion it may not be a bird at all. But what is this mysterious winged skeleton? And did it end up buried in Canada? What do you guys think? Use the hashtag sweet topic in the comment section below to share your thoughts. Number 19, Borealo Pelta. A heavy equipment operator was digging through a tar sands mine in Alberta when they stumbled upon the petrified front half of the Nodosaur. Now, that's not something you find every day. Most of the time when we find dinosaur fossils, we just have bones to work with. But with the Nodosaur, archaeologists have really hit the jackpot. It's got all the armor, osteoderm, and even fossilized skin. The Nodosaur was covered in protective half-meter spikes by its skeleton, and that was encased in body armor. Researchers believe that the Nodosaur was swept away by a flood and carried out to sea, where it quickly sank and created an impact crater. Because it was buried so rapidly, nothing was able to scavenge the animal, and it wasn't able to decompose much before it got fossilized. And we're glad this ancient creature managed to stay in tough condition. This dinosaur has been hailed as everything from a dinosaur mummy to a dragon from Game of Thrones. But now, after 110 million years, this gigantic herbivore has finally made its debut at a Canadian museum. And thanks to the state of this incredible fossil, we can now see exactly what this creature might have looked like millions of years ago. Technicians carefully transported the multi-ton chunk of rock to the museum, where it took more than 7,000 hours to chip away at the rock and unearth the skin of the dinosaur. It's the best preserved armored dinosaur in the world, the 18-foot-long Nodosaur. Number 18. The McBarge McDonald Yes, we're taking a nostalgic journey into fast food, but this isn't just any run-of-the-mill diner. We're delving into the legendary McBarge. In 1986, McDonald's unveiled the McBarge, a floating fast food establishment set to dazzle visitors at the Expo 86 World Fair in Vancouver. We got to admit, we've never seen a McDonald's quite like this before. Fully self-sufficient, it boasted its own water treatment facility, waste incinerator and power generator, enabling it to function independently. Not bad for a fast food spot, right? However, like all good things, the expo eventually ended, leaving the McBarge abandoned in Vancouver's False Creek. Not such a happy meal after all. 
With its distinctive silhouette, the McBarge now stands as an icon of Vancouver's past. Weird, but pretty cool. Number 17, Crop Circle. Crop circles, are they just elaborate hoaxes or signs from outer space? While skeptics might dismiss them as human-made pranks, there are some cases that defy explanation. Yes, we're diving deep into the mysterious world of crop circles to uncover the truth behind these formations. Rusty Manuel and Thaley Whitman, two farmers from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, stumbled upon a mind-boggling crop circle on their land. Seven precise circles etched into the field of thistle and barley left them totally shocked. Thaley described it as a resembling petals with grain flattened in intricate patterns. Was this the work of pranksters or something more? When word got out about Alberta's crop circle, the Canadian Crop Circle Research Network wasted no time investigating. Judy Arndt, one of the group's field researchers, described the scene as if the land had been electrocuted. Could this be evidence of a powerful force at play? Sure, skeptics might suggest that crop circles are nothing more than elaborate hoaxes, and why on earth would aliens be making circles in our crops? In fact, there's even a documentary showing how pranksters can create them using simple tools like wood and rope. But can this explain all the reported cases around the world, with over 10,000 documented crop circles globally? It's hard to dismiss them all as hoaxes. If we assume that 80% are man-made, that still leaves a whopping 2,000 cases that defy explanation. What could be causing these mysterious formations? And why would anyone or anything want to do them? The truth is out there. Number 16. Oak Island Money Pit A seemingly ordinary island with an extraordinary secret, Oak Island is located off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada. Legend has it that a hidden treasure lies buried within the depths of the money pit, protected by a series of ingenious booby traps and intricate flood tunnels. In fact, some even speculate it could be the hidden horde of infamous pirates like Captain Kidd or Blackbeard, while others believe it could be linked to the Knights Templar or the lost treasure of the Aztecs. The story began in the late 18th century when a young boy discovered a curious depression in the ground, an indentation that would become known as the Money Pit. Since then, it's been the home of treasure hunters and truth seekers from all over the globe. It's even got its own reality show. We don't know about you, but we're intrigued to see what dark secrets this famous pit might one day unveil. Number 15. The Voynich Manuscript It's time for the Voynich Manuscript, a mind-bending mystery from the 15th century that's been puzzling experts for over 600 years. Imagine a book that's like a secret code wrapped in a riddle written in a language so mysterious that even the smartest codebreakers are stumped. So, what's the manuscript all about? Well, nobody really knows. It's like the ultimate guessing game, with tantalizing clues scattered throughout. Inside, you'll find a wild mix of drawings, castles, dragons, plants, stars, and even recipes, all splashed with vibrant colors like something out of a medieval kaleidoscope. Experts think it's divided into different sections, covering everything from plants to stars to ancient medicine. Like a medieval encyclopedia on steroids. But here's the kicker. Despite all the brain power thrown at it, nobody's cracked the code yet. It's like the Da Vinci Code, but real and way more frustrating. Number 14. 14,000 Year Old Ice Village Archaeologists have just hit the jackpot. Yep, buried deep in the secluded Triquet Island just off the coast of British Columbia in Canada, lies the remnants of an ancient village dating all the way back a mind-blowing 14,000 years, making it the oldest settlement ever found in North America. Yep, you heard that right, even older than the famous Egyptian pyramids. The excavation has unearthed a treasure trove of tools shedding light on ancient life, from fire-making implements to hunting gear. And get this, forensic analysis suggests these artifacts hail from the Ice Age. These ancient relics have been traced back to the Heltsuk people, an indigenous tribe that once roamed the central coast region of British Columbia. This groundbreaking discovery is sending shockwaves through the archaeological community, sparking a flurry of questions and reshaping our understanding of migration of this corner of Canada. Number 13. Red Boulders Welcome to the incredible Red Rock Coulee a stunning spot in Alberta, Canada, where nature has created something truly amazing. It's basically a massive field filled with big round red rocks scattered across the flat land. But wait, these aren't just any rocks, they're massive balls formed over millions of years by minerals and dirt. 
and some are as big as small cars. These rocks have a story too. They're from a time when the area was covered by the sea, and you can still see marks on them from all those years ago. But here's the thing, even though they look tough, these rocks are actually pretty fragile. So if you visit, please be gentle and don't climb or touch them too much. Let's keep this natural wonder safe for everyone to enjoy. Number 12. Bigfoot Skull The hunt for Bigfoot just got a whole lot more exciting. The online world is buzzing with speculation after American YouTuber and wildlife educator Coyote Peterson stumbled upon what appears to be a large primate skull in a remote North American forest. Coyote Peterson, known for his adventurous exploits and hosting Animal Planet's Coyote Peterson Brave the Wild, took to Facebook to share the jaw-dropping news with his followers. Posting gripping photos of the find, he revealed that the skull was unearthed during a recent expedition in the wilderness of British Columbia, Canada. Peterson even expressed concern that government officials might try to suppress their footage of the discovery. However, he reassured fans that they won't miss out on the action, promising to upload clips from the find to his YouTube channel, Brave Wilderness. The skull itself was discovered partially buried under the ground in a remote forest ravine, following a massive storm in the Pacific Northwest. The area showed clear signs of disturbance, with trees uprooted and earth displaced, hinting at the possibility of something big roaming the woods. Hmm, mysterious indeed. Could the skull be the key to unlocking the mystery of Bigfoot once and for all? Number 11. Smoking Hills in the Northwest Territories of Canada, there's a place called the Smoking Hills that's unlike anywhere else. Yup, it's a wild, rugged landscape where thick black smoke is always rising into the air, creating a seriously strange scene. But what's causing all this smoke? Well, there are underground coal seams that have been burning for hundreds of years, making it a unique site that attracts scientists and tourists from around the world. The Smoking Hills have fascinated people for a long time. European explorers found them in the late 1800s, but even before that, the local indigenous people knew about them and had their own stories. But here's the science-y part. The smoke contains sulfur compounds that mix with the air and moisture to create sulfuric acid. This acid is carried by the wind and falls as acid rain in the surrounding area. Yep, the smoking hills really are one of a kind. Number 10. The Devil Hole Get ready for an adventure to one of nature's most thrilling spectacles, the Niagara Whirlpool. This amazing swirling vortex of water sits in the Niagara River, just downstream from the famous Niagara Falls. It's a breathtaking sight, about 60 meters wide and a whopping 20 meters deep. People from all over the world come to see this mesmerizing natural wonder up close. Some take boat tours right into the whirlpool, while others prefer to hike along the rocky gorge for a closer look. But don't be fooled by its beauty, this whirlpool means business. With strong currents and dangerous whirlwinds, it's claimed several lives over the years. Scientists think this incredible swirling vortex formed thousands of years ago during the last ice age, when massive glaciers shaped the Niagara River and the land around it. Since then, nature's forces have kept shaping the whirlpool with water rushing through the gorge at an average speed of about 35 kilometers per hour. We're not sure we'd want to get in a boat that goes anywhere near the so-called Devil's Hole. What about you guys? Number 9. Badland Guardian Located near the town of Medicine Hat in southeastern Alberta, Canada, lies a geological wonder that'll make you do a double take. Dubbed the Badlands Guardian, this natural rock formation is no ordinary sight. It's like Mother Nature decided to carve out a human head wearing a Native American headdress. When viewed from above, the Badlands Guardian's resemblance to a human face is so uncanny that it's earned itself quite the reputation. Over millions of years, wind and water have sculpted the soft sandstone and clay layers into the striking form we see today. Standing at around 300 meters long and 24 meters tall, the Badlands Guardian may not be the biggest natural landmark out there but its human-like features make it a sight to behold. Seriously, it's just like gazing upon a giant sleeping giant. So the next time you find yourself soaring over the Alberta Badlands, keep your eyes peeled for the Badlands Guardian. Number 8. Lake Monster It's time for the mysterious legend of the Ogopogo, Canada's very own Loch Ness Monster, Nessie. Before Europeans even set foot in the Okanga Valley, the indigenous Silix people were already whispering tales of a mystical lake dweller lurking in the depths of the Okangan Lake. 
They called it the Ogopogo. It's a big snake-like creature with humps popping out of the water. Some say it's got a horse-like head, adding to the mystery. Now, where did this quirky name come from anyway? Well, rumor has it that it's tied to an English music hall tune from the early 20th century called the Ogopogo, the funny foxtrot. This catchy song was all about a make-believe sea serpent, and somehow the name stuck. The first reports of Ogopogo sightings by settlers in the late 1800s kicked off a wave of excitement. Since then, folks from all walks of life have claimed to have a glimpse of the elusive creature. Despite the lack of hard evidence, scientists and researchers can't help but get drawn into the mystery. Some think the Ogopogo might be a leftover gang of ancient marine reptiles, like plesiosaurs or perhaps a hefty species of freshwater fish. Either way, it's left its mark on Canada and the rest of the world too. Number 7. Spotted Lake This natural phenomenon is a real sight to behold. In the Okongan Valley of British Columbia, Canada, there's a remarkable spotted lake that's simply out of this world. A multitude of colorful pools form this incredible landmark, and the many circular ponds contain a high concentration of minerals including calcium, sodium sulfates, and magnesium sulfate. The spotted lake might look like something from outer space, but this side of natural beauty has a rich history. During the First World War, the powerful minerals from this lake were used to manufacture ammunition. Laborers would mine approximately one ton of salt from the lake each day to use in the war effort. Not only that, but according to the British Columbia Visitor Center, the indigenous people of the Okongan Nation considered this amazing location to be sacred. And they believe that each one of the different and unique circles had healing properties. This breathtaking lake was originally known to the First Nations of the Okongan Valley as Killuluk. Today, you can't get up close to these legendary pools, as it's fenced off, but you can still get a pretty spectacular view from the roadside. There's nowhere quite like it in the world. Number 6. Blob-like Creature Prepare to be amazed and slightly creeped out because something straight out of a sci-fi movie has been discovered lurking in Canada's picturesque Lost Lagoon. As water levels dropped in this stunning body of water nestled in Vancouver, researchers stumbled upon a truly bizarre sight, a slimy brain-like blob. According to a jaw-dropping report by National Geographic, these blobs are actually colonies of tiny invertebrates known as bryzoans. They are countless zoids clumped together to form a cohesive mass resembling something straight out of our nightmares. They take the form of roughly football-sized lumps. And nobody knows for sure if these weird blobs have been chilling in the lagoon since it was formed by the construction of a causeway back in 1916. Could they be ancient inhabitants quietly biding their time beneath the surface? Or did they decide to crash the party more recently, perhaps seeking refuge from rising temperatures in another body of water? Either way, it's starting to look more and more like an alien invasion. Number 5. Wreck of HMS Terror Found in the Arctic after an exhaustive eight-year search, an Arctic research team may have finally cracked a 168-year-old mystery. They found the legendary HMS Terror, one of the ships from the ill-fated Franklin expedition, and it's in incredibly good condition. Led by Sir William Franklin, the expedition set out in search of the elusive Northwest Passage, leaving all 129 crew members lost in the Arctic cold. In an unexpected twist, the terror wasn't found where experts initially thought it would be. Instead, it was discovered a staggering 96 kilometers south of its presumed location, resting 24 meters below the surface in Terror Bay, off the southwest coast of Nunavut's King William Island. Using advanced technology, a remote-controlled underwater vehicle, the Arctic Research Foundation managed to peek inside the well-preserved ship. What they found was nothing short of astonishing. The HMS Terror looked as if it had just sunk yesterday. What an epic find. Number 4. Rock Art Journey with us into Wanuskuin Heritage Park, where nature and history collide. And in 2020, something truly extraordinary was unearthed. Four petroglyphs, ancient rock art that offers a glimpse into the indigenous culture of this land. First up, we've got the mighty Ribstone, weighing in at a whopping 225 kilograms. This petroglyph takes the form of an animal rib. Then there's also the companion stone, found alongside the ribstone. This 9-kilogram rock adds another layer to the mystery. 
who carved it and why? Well, archaeologists aren't totally sure. There's also the grid patterns. The stone is etched with intriguing grid patterns, weighing a hefty 340 kilograms. The puzzle deepens, now the excitement doesn't stop there. The National Heritage Park has its sights set on UNESCO World Heritage designation through Parks Canada. These petroglyphs aren't just ancient art, they're evidence of the cultural legacy of the First Nations people who've called this region home for over 6,000 years. How amazing is that? Number 3. Silver Coin from Henry VII's Reign Get ready for a jaw-dropping discovery straight out of Newfoundland. Archaeologists struck gold, well, silver actually, when they unearthed the oldest English coin ever found in Canada. This bad boy was minted over 520 years ago in Canterbury, England, back when Henry VII was king. Think knights, castles, and epic quests. This coin was right in the thick of it all. They call it a half groat, or simply put, a two penny piece. These babies were like the rock stars of currency, circulating from way back in Edward I's time, all the way through to the reigns of Edward III and Henry VIII. And when they stopped making them in the mid 1800s, talk about a relic. But this coin didn't just chill in England all its life. Nope, it hopped across the pond to the Newfoundland colony sometime after 1610. Imagine the stories it could tell. Number 2. War Era Bomber It's time for a hidden treasure buried beneath the icy waters of Gander Lake, Newfoundland. That's where you'll find the remains of badass B-24 Liberator Bomber, lost to the depths back in 1943 after a doomed takeoff. Now fast forward to today, a team of divers led by the one and only Jill Heinerth, a total boss filmmaker and underwater explorer. So they suit up and dive down, plunging into the chilly darkness to uncover what lies beneath. And what do they find? A whole bunch of stuff. Turret guns, instruments, and parts of the plane, all marked with the Royal Canadian Air Force RCAF insignia. It's like stepping into a time machine. Yep, finding the sunken treasure revives a forgotten tale, a chance to honor the heroes of the past and celebrate their legacy. Number 1. Ice Bubble in Canada Silent but deadly, these bubbles of frozen methane lurk beneath the ice on Alberta's Lake Abraham. These sinister bubbles are actually pockets of methane, a highly flammable gas that could combust from one single flame. Yikes! Now, we've all heard of methane being produced from animals such as cows, but who knew that this toxic gas was actually sitting there all this time, perfectly preserved in ice? But the real question is, how on earth did it get there? Methane bubbles are produced when dead organic matter sinks to the bottom of the lake, where hungry bacteria wait below, ready to gobble it up. The bacteria then poops out methane in the form of waste, turning into bubbles you can see when it comes into contact with frozen water. The slowly melting permafrost is now thawing out these dangerous methane poop bubbles and releasing the gas into the atmosphere, which could have disastrous consequences for our environment. And this isn't just happening in Canada, scientists have noticed this happening in Siberia too. 